Welcome to another edition of the Coco's Italian Market podcast. I'm here with the owner of Coco's Italian Market, Chuck Cianelli. Ciao, all. How you doing, Tim? Good. Now, you've started a travel company recently in the last few years. Is that right? Yeah, we've always been traveling to Italy, but now we actually own a full-blown travel agency. Okay. So if I was to plan a trip to Italy, why should I choose your company over the -the run-of-the-mill travel agencies? Yeah, that's a good question because, well, that's our passion. That's our business. We are importers of Italian products. I've been to pretty much every corner of Italy, you know, on buying trips. And in the last several years, I've been taking people with me. So I'll incorporate a little bit of my buying trip, uh, and then I'll do a tour. Kind of like they call it a Pied Piper tour. So Explain that, Pied Piper. Oh, I think it's just a term in the business where people follow somebody. Oh. You know, because I know what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> that kind of thing. A lot of times when I've been to other countries, I inevitably see what everybody else sees. Like, you know, the same museums or the same historical spots. Because yeah. well, those are important. Right. Yeah. But sometimes you think, like, man, I would like to see, like, the real Italy. Do we get that on your tour? Yeah, for sure, because my suppliers or my friends that I've made there, they open up their home. Even if that's not part of their business, we'll still go there for lunch, let's say, or a dinner, or there's an olive oil producer who are great friends of ours. And so we'll go to their farm, and they'll have lunch for us. And then we'll tour the olive orchards, and then some of the trees have been there for over seven, 800 years. It's just magnificent. Where a tourist really wouldn't go. Now, I know you're excited about an upcoming trip to Sicily. Yeah, I'm not Sicilian, and our family's from near Naples, but I always say I could live in Sicily. It's really just that awesome. How is it different from the rest of Italy? Well, everything that the mainland offers, which would take several trips to do, is pretty much in Sicily, outside of the Alps. But they do have a mountain chain. They have snow on the mountains, like in Mount Etna. So you got your volcano, and they have the sea, they have the salt flats, big rocks, little rocks, plains. They have all the food you can imagine. Actually, a a huge... I think the American version of Italian food is really what Sicily has to offer. So you'll love everything there that way. Where when we're in a certain region, like where we're in Puglia for 10 days... You get the same wine, the same cut of pasta, the same everything. It's delicious, but restaurant after restaurant after restaurant, it it is the same. They eat local. They eat within like one kilometer. Have you ever heard that? Like the slow food thing or zero kilometers or two kilometers. Mm -hmm. They actually have that in the menu. So Sicily, what I understand historically, has been a melting pot for a long time. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's trampled through Sicily. The Greeks and the Moors and the Spanish, everyone's had a piece of it. And they've all left a part of their culture, and not just with the food, but with the architecture. You can see, like, one church would have three phases of building. A Greek amphitheater could turn into a Roman place for a pagan god, and then it becomes a Christian, and then it's one style of art and architecture, then the next style, and then the next style, and then, you know, okay. on and on. So for the Sicilian trip, how many days is it going to be? The whole trip is 12 days. Ten days in Sicily and two on the Amalfi Coast. Tell us about the Amalfi Coast. It is like everything you see in the photos. It's really spectacular. And it's on our way back to Rome where we fly out of Rome. So we spent a couple days there. And probably one of my favorite things to do there is Pompeii. First off, this trip, two volcanoes. Like how many times do you go to a volcano? Well, we'll do Mount Etna which is more of a mountain chain. It's a different kind of volcano. They bubbles up all over the place, and that's what makes the mountain chain. Mm-hmm. Where we're at, when we're at Pompeii, it's Mount Vesuvius, the famous, right. you know, everyone's seen that Mount Vesuvius in the back of... And these volcanoes are not active anymore. No, they are. And that's really cool, too, because in Mount Etna, you'll see through the topography, through the horticulture, how long ago it last erupted at that one spot. Like, it could be all the magma rock. And then the first thing that grows would be some moss, and the moss propagates a like a grass and then that propagates a little tree and then a you know a bush and it kind of goes from there so you can look at one spot and say well that part erupted 50 years ago this one uh-huh. erupted 30 years ago that was 80 years ago a lot of times when you go on these tours they may take you to some exotic places but they'll still stick you in a hotel that is like a chain or something do you guys do that well no there's really no chains in italy now there might be a group of a company that owns a lot of hotels but the hotels in italy are more like converted convents or um, even 
stables, believe it or not. You know, just uh, these are old buildings and they're quaint. Like you do not want to stay at a Best Western. There's no real Best Western, but they they do have some American style hotels. You don't want to stay there. Right. You want to stay where it's quaint, where there's history. You know, there'll be a chapel around the back. It's just much more interesting. Like terraces. Yeah, and... exactly. Every hotel that we stay at is either centrally located for part of our tour and very convenient, or it has a great view, or both. These are all four-star hotels or better, and the European standard are four stars. The rooms might not be as big as we're used to in America. The beds may be smaller. Let me tell you, we're doing a lot of stuff. We're not overwhelmed. You do have free time, but between the fresh air and the great food and a couple of glasses of wine, when you put your head on the pillow, you're you're done. Now, are you the tour guide on this tour? Yes and no. There is someone that I really, really like. In fact, she's so good, Mari Angela, that people are going on this tour again because of her, I think, or because of us. She is our tour person from the airport on to the end. And she even comes to the airport and makes sure everything's perfect. She is the, you know, native born. She has the license to be a tour guide in Italy. You have to be licensed. Then when we go on our daily excursion and we're in this cute little town or whatever, we'll meet a local tour guide. And that's legal too. You have to hire a local tour guide. Where I come in, there's no place that we have not been to. And I always say my claim to fame is I know where the bathroom is in the Vatican. (laughs) When we have our free time and it's like, oh, somebody wants to go shopping, you know, some great shopping over here. If you want to exchange money, I know the best places to exchange money, what bank to use, things like that. Where to eat, what to order, what kind of drinks to order. There's regional things. The aperitivo time is my favorite time. Uh, The cocktail before dinner Mm -hmm. and uh, a little hold you over. So that's kind of where I come in. Between Mariangela and myself, everything's seamless. If you think you have a problem, like we fixed it way before, you know, there's ever a problem. It's just our tours are flawless. Right. I know some of the tours now are starting to add cooking classes. Is there going to be any opportunities for us to learn how to cook the local cuisine? Yes. When we are in Sorrento, we'll do a cooking class. And our cooking classes are not just a demo. These are hands-on. They take several hours. You're going to... Meet the local uh, restaurant owner, probably family members, and we're going to make everything from scratch. Now, you won't make everything from scratch, but you will make something. Mm -hmm. So it's all Mm hands-on. We'll sit down, we'll have a cocktail, they'll cook it, and then we'll have our dinner. Right now, there's a big culture in America around wine. You know, not only the, the drinking of it, of course, but the acquisition, the learning about the history, the learning how to appreciate it. Is there going to be a chance to do that in Sicily? Yeah, it's going to be a great day because that's the day we take the ferry ride from Sicily to back to the mainland, and we're going to go to a winery. The best part about the wineries in Italy is that these are working wineries. When you're in California, you're in a showroom. Now, there's vineyards all around you, but those aren't their grapes. Here in Italy, you know, there's machinery all around you. You can't do that in America. They would never let you. You're walking over hoses. There's tractors going by. I'm not saying it's dangerous. It's just the way there it is, you know. So you're you're really at the winery, and that makes it even more special. And you're going to meet the family. You'll have a guided tour, and then we'll try some wines. And if you want to purchase some, uh, we do that, and we ship it to save on shipping. We all ship it to the Italian market, if you want, and then we distribute it. You know, when it gets there, it usually takes like three weeks. We're going to go to a limoncello factory, and there are these lemons that only grow in this part of the world. They're really big, and the rind is perfect. Uh, You can almost even eat them. I mean, there's just something about the lemon. But there's no place in the world that you can go to a limoncello factory, like here in Italy. That's hugely special. I mean, anyone can go to a winery, but we're going to a limoncello factory. I was noticing the price. It's a little under four grand. That seems awful cheap, considering that's including airfare, and it's 12 days. Right. How are you pulling that off without skimping on... uh, I'm not skimping on anything. Okay. This is a, a full high caliber tour. The reason why it's so inexpensive, and I was almost afraid it's too low, like it's going to scare people away, it's only because I know what I'm doing the more I do this. First off, we're going one week before tourist season. If we went the following week, it would be another $500. If we went two weeks later, it would be another 1000 So we're going right before the high season. The other thing is I purchased this trip a year in advance. So I got a discount for that that I passed on. And the third thing is, we now own a travel agency. This is our first year as travel agents. And so we got the travel agency prices. 
where before I was purchasing these through the travel agency, now I'm now the travel agent. And also, since I'm the owner of the travel agency, they want to impress us. They want me to book them again and again. They want me to send more clients to them. So I notice at a lot of touring companies, they put you on with a bunch of other people, like a lot of people. It could be anywhere from 50 to 100 people. Are your tours that big? No, we limit it to 20, 24 people. For the most part, everybody knows each other. Everyone is from Nashville or might be a relative from out of town going with somebody from Nashville. We do a get to know you dinner. And so maybe three weeks before we go, we all have dinner at the Italian restaurant or in the event center. We play a little trivia game, something, you know, to break the ice and uh, have some wine and everyone just gets chatting and, you know, like name why you're doing it. You know, it's just fun. And so we don't go as strangers. We already kind of know each other. During the dinner, we'll make sure everyone has their documents and we go over all the travel tips and what to expect. And there's a lot of things like how to pack, you know, what to pack. Uh, when we're going this time, the temperature is going to be around 75 degrees. It's just perfect. Maybe 65 at night. So you don't need a heavy jacket. So the dinner's great. And that's on me. We all do a private Facebook page. And that way we share photos with each other. So we're all taking pictures of the same thing, but there's always somebody who just gets it right. Mm -hmm. So we post those online and we share the photos. And there's an app that has the itinerary. So that's really cool. So we, everybody downloads the phone app if you want. What does the app do exactly? It talks to you. It's like, you know, good morning. This is what you can expect today. Oh, okay. Kind of thing. You know, even though we've gone over it, but it's just another little... So it's kind of an itinerary app. Yeah, it's exactly. Oh, and you can do photo sharing with it and you can chat amongst each other with the app. Oh, that's cool. But we already do the Facebook one. So, because that's more people are on Facebook. So how do you get from town to town physically? Right, okay. We will have the same bus driver from the airport to the, to the airport. It's a small bus. It holds 25 people. Big windows. The seats recline. It's air conditioned. So I won't be cramped in there? No, no. And the bags are underneath and you have your carry-on kind of thing. And there's a microphone, so, you know, the tour guide will talk to you when it's important. When it's time to take a nap, you can take a nap. By the end, let me tell you, the last two trips I did, we have get-together dinners. You know, like a reunion dinner. Mm -hmm. We did it last Christmas. Every single person went on the trip showed up. Wow. That's how much you bond on this trip. You know, traveling is the spice of life. You get to do it with people who are, have the same interest as you. From all walks of life, you know, uh, multimillionaires are traveling with school teacher. Hey, thanks for listening to part one of the Coco Italian Tours, Sicily edition. Look out for part two, which will include a day-by-day -day itinerary. Also keep in mind that Coco's travel agency is a worldwide travel company. So wherever you want to go, give Coco's a call and maybe they can find a good deal for you. You can find all the information at Coco's Travel Agency.com. Ciao.